Hello and welcome to another indie horror game. This time I'll be playing the demo to Lunacy St. Rhodes, and if you'd like to do the same you'll find the links and the details all down below in the description, alright? This is going to be a first person horror experience where I'm going to be looking into my dark family history, and I really hope you enjoy it. If you do, leave this video a like, leave your thoughts down below in the comments, but let's begin the demo to Lunacy St. Rhodes. Yes please. Okay, that was weird. Hello? Hello, Mr. Rhodes. My name is Roy Millard. I work for the Wellsmith Police Department as a homicide detective. Uh oh. According to our records, you are the sole inheritor of the Rhodes Mansion, which is located in the town of St. Rhodes. Have you completed the takeover of the property? Oh, um, this is news to me. I, I hadn't been informed about inheriting any property. Ah. I see. The problem is, we've discovered a connection between your house and a previous case I investigated almost ten years ago. Oh. I need you to come to the Wellsmith Police Station to provide some information and grant authorization to search the building. When you arrive, you can also sign some legal paperwork to formalize your ownership of the property. Right. Sure. I can do that, uh, but I'd like to view the property first. Okay then, I'll be on my way to the town right now. Let us meet at the mansion entrance. Alright detective, I'll be there in a few hours. Okay, see you then. See you then, I guess. So I've inherited a mansion that I knew nothing about, and it was the site of a homicide? That can't be good. Very suspicious. Right, I think we're skipping ahead a little bit for the demo. But yeah, I can't imagine this is going to end well. But it is starting pretty well. Yeah, I do like the way it looks. And we've got a flashlight. Even better. It feels strange to be here after more than two decades. I bet it does. Right, oh, okay. Um, looks like I've added something to my journal. Let's see. Okay, homecoming. Arriving at the melancholy house of St. Rhodes. My name is George Rhodes, a sole survivor from the doom that came to my hometown of St. Rhodes in 1957. A madness that ended up with the slaughtering of most of the town's folks. A massacre brought about by something truly evil that had been loose in the godforsaken corners of the earth. My step-parents forbade me to go to this damned house, whatever the reason might be. Nearly two decades later, I broke my promise, and here I am. To be honest, I don't know how I feel about this. The only thing that I'm sure of is that I will find the House of St. Rhodes and discover my own place within this appalling history. That doesn't really sound like something I want to do. <laughs> Maybe I should be adhering to the signs. Maybe I should be keeping out. Oh, I don't know. Right. Mansion this way, is it? Hey. Okay. Wow, that's a big deer. And it's looking right at me. Everything about this situation is making me want to turn around and just leave. So, let's get this out the way. Can I leave? Let's hope so. Have I got a car down here? A bike? <laughs> is there a road? A, a path, maybe? This is the direction I, I came from. Oh. <laughs> I need to find the house in Rhodes, my ancestor's residence. All right, all right. I guess I'll play along. Let's go see this mansion. Well, at least it wasn't just an invisible barrier, and it did actually direct me back this way, and that's a nice touch. But, right. I, I think you might be in the way. I- oh, okay. <laughs> well, at least it didn't trample me. Okay. So, this is the entrance to the mansion, is it? Where's Roy, then? Oh, I see. physics space movement for the doors. Alright, good stuff. Might want to oil that up. Oh, boy. From what little time I spent in the house of St. Rhodes, I have only unpleasant memories. Right. Recently, I've started having nightmares, like faint visions. I'm sure they're about my experiences here a long time ago. Hmm. I spent part of my childhood here 
years in this godforsaken town. Until I was forced to leave due to a terrible incident. Well, a massacre. Several residents were killed. And several went missing. By the looks of it. Alright. Can we... Oh! Oh, we can! Ah, wonderful. I like this game already. Not what I was expecting to see, though. More missing posters, I think? They're all of the same person. Oh, what's this? Didn't I just see that in the menu? I think so. Strange. Am I taking that with me? No. That's probably for the best, yeah. yeah very strange. What was up with that cutscene at the beginning as well? There was like a woman with one horn brushing her hair. Oh, hang on. Look at this. Can we... Oh! Ah! Shit. Uh, I don't suppose this is going to work, is it? Blocked. Of course it is. Alright. Uh, this way then. So, where's Roy exactly? Up here? Oh, perfect. I need to look for shelter from the rain before I catch cold. Right. This way then? Oh, I can wipe my glasses? Hey, another nice touch. I gotta say, I'm liking this so far. Right, that way's blocked by the looks of it. Over here? Bloody hell, right, yeah, we do need to find shelter. Well, here we are. This is the mansion I inherited. <laughs> Let's hope not. Under here? There we go, much better. Okay, uh... Well, that's not going to work, is it? What? Uh, there's a window. Can I... Oh, yep. Yeah. I can break and enter, apparently. Let's hope no one's living here. Uh, hello? A anyone home? Hmm. Guess not. Well, someone lit the candles. Right. Okay. Okay, there's a newspaper here. What was that? Oh, okay, I can blow it out. I'll need a fire to light these candles. Right. Uh, a new rise of lunatic asylum. Can I not get a, a plain text version of this? Uh, I don't think so. 1905, that's a very, very old paper. Hmm. Okay. The bowl? Okay, I can use the bowl. I'll need right. a fire to light these candles. I do. Okay, uh, it looks like we've got quite a lot to pick up and look at. I don't know if everything's going to be that important. Oh, hang on, what's that over there? A lighter? Hey, there we go. Candles lit. Maybe Officer Millard was here. Yeah, maybe. Oh, do I? <laughs> I have to light it myself. I thought as soon as I got it out, I was going to light it automatically. Never mind. Let's see. Right, so, mouse wheel, yeah? Okay, that's pretty cool. Right, let's stay down here, shall we? Okay, would that lead to the basement? Locked. Probably. Okay. Yeah, we can interact with a great deal here. Uh. This door seems to be the only way to the other part of the town. Hmm, okay. Upstairs? Maybe I can find a key to get out. Alright. Let's see. Another one of these blocks. I don't want to take that with me, though. Can we open this up? No? Alright. What's this? Oh! Oh! Nothing in there? Ah, oh, nothing in there. Okay. This way, then? I am hearing noises every now and then. Roy, is that you? Oh, I see a key. I see a lot, actually. Let's start with this. Oh, a map! Wonderful! Okay, I discovered the map at the Anderson's house. Right. Ah, so that's where I'm going. The Rhodes house. At the east. Okay. Quite a small little area, but yeah, it looks like it's going to be a pretty big mansion. Cool. Alright. What we got here? Um, concerns over the resurgence of local cults were sparked after the Wellsmouth Administration's Animal Husbandry and Forest Departments discovered 63 native wild animal carcasses near a pond 
that's nearby the community of St. Rhodes. Five samples of birds have been sent to the Animal Disease Investigation Section's Diagnostic Labs, uh, or laboratory, in Northwood, Wellsmouth. Right, okay. Strange lights in the forest? According to multiple eyewitnesses, there have been strange lights on the infamous archaeological site for the past four weeks. This site is located on the steep slopes of the Devil's Clench, a rugged rock formation close to the town of St. Rhodes. According to the claims, those lights were ritualistic in character. The place is almost impossible to access at this time of year due to seasonal issues, which prevents the police from looking into the matter. A thorough investigation is to be conducted as soon as the region is free of the regular torrential downpours. Sheriff Johnson assures us. Right, okay, there's yet more over here. Uh, archaeologists have determined that mysterious wood-carved artifacts discovered in a site near the town of St. Rhodes in northern Wellsmouth were not tools. The almost 600-year-old violin-shaped artifacts may really be crudely fashioned figurines that represented dead family members and were most likely a part of a sophisticated ancestor worship that entailed the ritualistic burying and exhumation of the dearly departed. Missing villagers? A formal inquiry into the disappearance of 13 villagers who have been missing for the past two years is necessary. Well, yeah, of course it is. The residents of St. Rhodes have spoken out about the long-standing disappearances of their family members. We haven't heard anything about them since they were gone, said one woman whose uncle, 48, and cousin, 35, are among the missing. And then there's this. Right, okay. I actually did see a skull behind me. I, oh, I'm taking that with me, right. Rests inside the palm. It needs to be held tight. Sketch of the original crystal I've seen in an ancient book. Uh, the catalyzer crystals were cut from the bolt that was entered our reality eons ago. Nobody knows where it came and who brought it. Crystal cut perfectly for the eye socket. It needs both the crystals to reveal what's hidden from our eyes. Right. Okay. And finally, a key. A small box key. Okay. Alright. Uh, it's just me knocking against the chains. Right, okay, so the small box. Oh, we Okay. Is that the fucking Grim Reaper out there? <laughs> Am I just seeing things? I don't know. Uh, right, and this one? Uh, so hang on, yep. Uh, yep, this one? Use... I quite like the inventory system, actually. Yeah. So what's this? Uh, unfortunately, I can't read that. Yep. Okay, now I can. This item is very old and was feared by the ancients. Its origins can be traced back to Hittite funerary ceremonies. It was used to break the seals that separated worlds, allowing its possessor to freely traverse between them. However, there are always consequences, and the person using it must be trained to retain control. Various accounts refer to it as the Key, Revealer, or Exornth. With the assistance of some friends in Salem, I discovered it in an antique shop in Wellsmouth. The seller was unaware of its authenticity, so it came really cheap. It's metallic, but I'm not sure what metal it's composed of. The eye sockets are used for the placing of two separate crystals. These crystals are described in the infamous Latin translation of a book written around six centuries ago uh, by Halid bin Humar. They appear to be quartz-based. If you press them hard enough, they generate a weak electrical field around them that is not visible to the naked eye. But, as stated in the aforementioned book, if I concentrate my mind on them, their electromagnetic properties are much boosted. When you concentrate hard enough, they generate a powerful tingling sensation in your hands, arms, and even in your head. This is where the metallic skull comes in. I'm not sure how, but it functions as a conduit between my body and the crystals. And this is it, is it? Huh. Fancy. Right. Okay. So... We do actually have a proper inventory. What the fuck is that? Is that... Oh, it's coming from this! Right. Turn it off. Yeah. Don't need that. <laughs> okay. And then just release. What the hell did I just do? It's going to show me interdimensional objects that you could use or pick up. Okay. Well, let's see. Anything in here? Uh, no. 
I might be wrong, but I I'm not seeing anything different. Uh, let's see. Around here? Nothing? No? Okay. Around here. N yes, yes, there is something here. It's a key! So I just took that from another dimension? Alright. Right, okay. There's no one upstairs, but maybe there is in a different dimension. Hey, oh shit. Hello. Uh, yeah, I don't really want to use this anymore. So, the key presumably opens this door here, yeah? Yeah? Here we are. Okay. Is it gone? It's gone. Strange. Very strange. Okay, so this way, yeah? Yeah, we've got to cross the town and head to the east. So, straight ahead. Interesting game so far. Is this going to work? Uh, oh, yeah. Actually, I think it might. Oh, come on. I, <laughs> I can't seem to get it open, though. Okay. Loads and loads of skulls back there. Human, too. Shit. I knew coming here was going to be a mistake. Why are you telling me to run? Like, why now? Alright, well, I guess we're gonna... Whoa! Okay! What the hell? Oh, fuck! Whoa! Shit! Okay! Right, hang on, hang on. Activate the pistol. Okay. Holy moly. Right, right. Okay. Oh, shit, there's another one. Okay. Run around them. Uh, we've got a lot of Slendermen following me. I'm just gonna go this way, okay? Jeez. Whoa, 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 whoa. They, uh, they kind of step towards you, but then warp occasionally by the looks of it. Anything in here? Nope, fuck. I'm just gonna get caught up. Right, this way? I do. What's going on? Right, I, I think they want their crystal back. I think we're meddling with powers that we shouldn't have. Okay. I'm gonna go around you. Oh boy. Oh shit. Okay. Right. Here. Here. This must be it. Open the door. Open the door. Okay. Come on. Shit. <laughs> Why does it open this way? Bloody hell, they're right behind me. Ah. This must be it. Are they staying back? Oh, that was pretty tense. I quite enjoyed that. Right. Yeah, I don't think I want to use this anymore. Um. Flashlight. Yes. Okay. Big place. And I'm not being followed? Good. Yeah, the less I use that, the better, because I think they know my location when I do. Let's see then. Ah. The spare key must be around somewhere. Old habits die hard. Okay. That's that Grim Reaper again, I think, in the distance. Okay, right, so what's it gonna be? Underneath this? No? Uh, actually, it might be underneath the flower pot. <laughs> Maybe this one? No? This one back here? Any more? No? Alright. Maybe it's gonna be underneath the- Oh, no, no, hang on! It's here! It's here! Right! Good stuff. Old habits really do die hard. Where did it go? Maybe I should get the crystal out again. Or maybe I should just get inside. Right. Here we are. I- Whoa! Oh, it's you! What the- What?! Maybe I should've used the side entrance. Was that meant to happen? Is that how it's gonna end? Ah, I think- Right, yeah, that's how it's gonna end. Well, there you go. That was the demo to Lunacy St. Rhodes, and there's quite a lot to like about this, to be honest. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments. Let me know if you want to see the full version on the channel when it comes out next year, alright? Thanks for watching. See you next time. Hello, Mr. Rhodes. My name is Roy Millard. I work for the Wellsmith Police Department as a homicide detective. Uh-oh. Wow, that's a big deer. And it's looking right at me. Oh, I can wipe my glasses? Hey, another nice touch!
A formal inquiry into the disappearance of 13 villagers who have been missing for the past two years is necessary. Well, yeah, of course it is. Okay. Is that the fucking Grim Reaper out there? <laughs> Alright, well, I guess we're gonna... Whoa! Okay! Come on! Shit! <laughs> Why does it open this way? Oh, it's you! What the... What? 